In this video, I want to show you how to replace your fuel filter. It's located on the driver's side frame rail underneath the truck. So let's get started. To start this process, first you want to have a collection bucket because there will be some fuel that will spill out of the fuel filter. It is full of fuel and even if you depressurize the system, there will still be fuel in it. So I'm just going to be cautious, have a collection bucket underneath. This vehicle has not ran in a long time, several weeks actually, so the fuel system should be mostly depressurized at this point. I'm going to reach up here and I want to disconnect this safety lock, push, push that up and unhook it from the fuel line. I'm gonna give this fuel line a twist to make sure that it breaks free, which it does. It's not seized on there, that's perfect. To get this line out, you have to squeeze these tabs in and press this whole thing, the, the white lock up, and this will let go of the fuel filter. There we go. And pry this off. As you can see, a little bit of fuel comes out. Set that aside. Now we have to disconnect the other line. And on this side, we have to use one of these fuel line removal tools. It's basically just a little sleeve that slides in there. And inside of that fitting, there are little tabs that clamp onto the line. And when you slide one of these in, it pushes those little tabs out and lets go of the line. It has a split in it. Open it up and slide it down in here, just like this. And then once you press it in, it'll push out the tabs and you can pull the fuel line out. There you go. Now we can pop out the fuel filter out of this retainer here. Keep in mind, like I said, it's full of fuel still. I'm gonna try and plug this end. And I'm gonna try and tilt it up to where the plugged end sits down so I don't spill much. And there you have it, there's your old fuel filter. Dispose of the fuel properly, and now let's put in the new one. As you can see, the filter, the new filter, has an arrow. That means the fuel has to flow in that direction. Do not put it backwards. It comes with a couple caps on the end. I took those off, but be careful not to get debris in there. Open up this clamp, slide the filter down, lock it in, make sure it sits properly. And now, take the two lines, we'll snap them back into place, make sure that clicks. Put this lock on. If you can't fit the lock, pull the line back a little. Drop the lock down in and lock it down like this. This ensures that this line can't pop off. I'll do the same to this side. This side should click on. There we go. Push it in all the way and lock it down. If it doesn't lock down, that means it's not in all the way. Give it a tug to ensure that it's actually situated. Perfect. So now prime the fuel system, start it up and see how it runs. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.